Tracy. Since the moment you came into my life, you have been a source of love, laughter, and friendship. You are kind, thoughtful, and one of the most entertaining people that I know. I love how you always seem to know what I'm thinking before I have even finished thinking it myself. You are my rock and my biggest supporter. With you, I feel safe, loved, valued, and appreciated. Our story has been just like that of a Hallmark movie. Since the beginning, we have fit together so naturally. There were sparks and good times right from the start. We had a little drama when you realized you were allergic to my dog, Kit, but no matter the obstacle, whether it's dogs, allergies, or planning a wedding in the middle of a pandemic, we have worked it out. I fell in love with your love of family and how you value quality time. I love your charisma and ability to not only make me laugh, but keep me laughing. Thank you for showing me unconditional love and unwavering loyalty. Today, I take you as my best friend and partner for life. I promise to honor, encourage, and support you. I promise to be your lover when you need love, your nurse when you're ill, your ear when you need someone to listen, and your comfort when you feel pain. I promise to work at our love, never taking it for granted, and always making you a priority. Most importantly, I promise to share you only with your first true love, football. From this moment to infinity and beyond, I choose you to be my partner through all of life's adventures, forevermore. Alex. Before I met you, I would often hear people say, when you know, you know, and you will know pretty quickly. To me, I couldn't comprehend that notion, but then you came along. By the time I met you, I knew what I was looking for in a partner. I knew what I wanted out of life in a relationship. I also happened to not be looking for a relationship when I met you. And so, our first day was just supposed to be a get back out there date. That's why I told you on the first date that there was a time limit. Well, and because I like my bedtime. On that first date, you checked off so many boxes within the first 30 minutes. I had never experienced anything like that. Our date lasted for hours and went way past my bedtime. I asked you out on a second date right then and there. And the second date was also amazing. But that scared me and over the course of the following week, I tried to run away and pretend like those first dates never happened and that you didn't exist. The truth was, I realized right away how special you were. Honestly, you blew me away. I thought about you nonstop. I thought about all the things that I liked about you. You made me want to be a better person. One thing that stood out about you was how you were checking off boxes that I never thought about. You changed my whole perception on what I wanted in a life partner, and you continue to do so to this day. I did not know what true love or a lifelong partnership looked like until I met you. I am very much a person who makes decisions based on logical reasoning. Logically, it made no sense to be in love with someone after a few short weeks, but I knew within those first few weeks that I did love you. I couldn't explain it. Everyone said, you know when you know was right. Over the last two years, we have had so many memories. I love our once a month Disney movie dates. I live for cuddles on the couch with you to wind down each day. And who can forget some of our silliest memories? Like the night I convinced you that I could fit a square lasagna into a round souffle dish by balancing on the top and letting it melt down and fall into place. Most recently, there was the magical sunset hair dry proposal at Disney World. Through these first few phases of our story, we have built a strong foundation, full of God, family, trust, and love. As we start to write our next chapter, I would like to begin with my lifelong promises to you. Seems like a long time, but nothing seems like a long time when I am with you. I feel like I'm walking on water since the day that I asked your father to let go of his daughter. So give me your blessing, sir. I'll give her all that I've got. Doesn't look like much, but it sure feels like a lot. Let her take my heart and take my hand. Take my heart and take my hand. Take my heart and take. 
Take my heart 